Hey everyone, welcome back to the Bloodborne walkthrough lore through series. This is episode 8. I believe it's up. We are going. Thinking. Um. Do I want to do the chalice next? I think we're going to save it. We've already created it. We'll save it. We'll move forward with the story a little bit. And, uh... We're gonna go back to Cathedral Ward. And uh, we've got a rifle spear. Be good to go. It's definitely going to be. I uh, have an eye on another weapon that we're going to use for a playthrough, but. Oh! Check uh, Branny over here. You! Stay away from me! now. Which is not good. So you see a jailer. Oh, the jailer for a reason. Now appeared there. And we'll come in here, so we'll be good. Um, that's open. That's the way we're gonna go. I just wanna check this area out real quick. Just wanted to make sure. Let's uh change up our outfit a little bit. Back to the gas going with that scarf. This is now open, so now we can go up here and proceed forward. To the right there we're gonna have to go very quickly. This guy. Get quick silver bullets and open this chest here. And we get our first rune game. Communion rune, higher blood vial maximum. Up. Secret symbol left by the Carol Runesmith of Bergenworth. Several runes relate to blood, including communion, which raises the maximum number of blood vials one may carry. This rune represents the healing church, and its minister's blood ministration is, of course, the pursuit of communion. We're going to run straight forward here. We'll talk about that in a minute. We're a safe place here. Now we're at the healing church. Workshop. Sir. How dare you? Did not go like I wanted. Open this chest here. 
We'll get a blood tinge gemstone. There are a couple of these. Blood gem that fortifies weapons that add various properties. Blood gems are especially rare bloodstones that grow on cold uh, cold blood. Blood gems are needed to weapons uh, workshop tools, but only when magic shape. This has blood attack up, plus 12.6. That's going to be really nice with our repeating pistol. This is really nice. I think we got this in the Chalice Dungeon. Blood attack up 7.6%, uh, and then add blood attack number 3. That's really great. So, this is why you want to, or it's meant to, that you should do the Chalice Dungeons as you play through the game. This guy down here. That blood vial. Looks like bullets. There is going to be a big fat jerk right here. Very unfortunate indeed. We're gonna need to go, um... Farm some blood vials. Here's a lore note right here. The sky and the cosmos are one. The choir. The sky and the cosmos. You're getting all these little hints. You know, and especially if you go to the Chalice Dungeons right now and be like, what the hell are those alien-looking things? You're getting a little bit of a hint. I think I'm going to survive this fall. Then. We get the Radiant Sword Hunter badge here. Now this won't open right now. We'll go read it. Second. It's locked. We need a key. But we will be able to come back here and progress later. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church, the Radiant Sword, indicates the heirs to the will of Ludwig. These hunters, also known as Holy Blades, what are remains of an ancient line of heroes that date back to the very early age. Honor. Chival. Another mention of Ludwig. Or pronounced Ludwig. going to stumble upon a secret area. I'm 
might not survive this. But uh, we'll see. Turn on torch on. Turn around. We're gonna aim for that right there. Roll off. Hopefully we won't die here. We did. But that's a secret area right there. You go through there. And, uh... We're gonna uncover something. But, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to do this on screen right now. And, uh... Ugh, I'm gonna have to go farm a little bit for uh, blood vials, because the stupid chalice dungeons are you know, really difficult this early on. And took all of my, uh... So... Fortunately, let's go back to Hunter's Dream. I was really hoping if I just had one more blood vial, I would have survived that. It's really unfortunate. But we don't have to go through the whole gauntlet. Again. We're going to have to do that, unfortunately, again. Uh, because... Well, you'll see. And after that, we're going to have to do it again a little further on. <laughs> we'll try to make this quick if it wasn't for the dang low time. You know, even putting an SSD in this PS4 Pro doesn't really help with these low times. Uh, blood echo gone from because I didn't want to I wanted to be stingy and not use my blood echo but that's my little farming route um, unfortunately this uh, episode is not starting off strong and it's annoying real annoying when that kind of stuff happens you know I didn't die once and now I'm just getting sloppy Trying to rush. It's the parry game's on point. Eight would be good enough, but I should get because those wolves drop, uh, those beasts drop three each, so. Ugh. Okay. 
Okay. Eight's good enough. It's good enough. <laughs> I'm really ticked, and I just want to start this now over, but I can't because I got all these uh, items. That is incredibly annoying, but uh, okay. What a terrible start. 16 minutes of BS. Ah. Uh. Sixteen minutes of BS. I'm gonna have to do it again. I need to level up my vitality. A little low on vitality right now. Usually. Get up to 25 or closer to 30 by now. I think I need. We have to go to the secret area because there is a lot of lore. I hate using that, but I need to make sure I'm topped off. See that? I'm gonna roll off. Heal up. Drop down. Open this area. You're about to get your mind blown. Because this is the abandoned gold workshop. Looks exactly like a hunter's dream. Exactly like it. We go up here. the workshop. There's a lantern. One third umbilical cord. It's a consumable item and you need it for the real ending of the game. A great relic of known as the cord of the eye. Every infant great one has the precursor or umbilical cord. Every great one loses his child and then yearns for a surrogate. The third umbilical cord pre uh, precipitated the encounter of the pale moon which beckoned the hunters and conceived the hunter's dream. Used to gain insight, and they say eyes on the inside, although no one remembers what it truly entails. We'll talk more about that, but that's, an, that's a key item, and it's an abandoned doll. There's her eyes. Look at those eyes. Nothing but small ladies here. <laughs> Let me go this way. There's a gravestone that she keeps praying at, mind you. And we get the old hunter's bone. Can't use it, it's an arcane item. The bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. It's said that he was an apprentice to the old Garman and practitioner of the art of quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It's appropriate that hunters, carriers, and his torturers sustained by the dream would tease an old art from his remains. 
Now this belonged to an apprentice of Garman. That means Garman's been doing this for a long, long time. Let's go out and inspect the loom. For the chest here. Open it. We get the dolls. Fire. Leave. We have the doll's attire. We can dress up like the doll. Which is funny. There's one more item before we head back. Amen. Ah, there it is. Small hair ornament. A small, very ordinary hair ornament, although it has been lost for quite some time, one can still see signs of the care which the tasteful ornament was once kept. The color would stand out most brilliantly against a head of grayish hair. Head of grayish hair, huh? I wonder who would it be for? Let's head back to the hunter's dream. Good hunter. I must have drifted off. What is it you desire? What? What is this? I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. What's happening to me? Tell me, Hunter, could this be joy? <sighs> yeah, I guess here, Stone. Silver shining tear stone used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. Doll sheds neither no blood nor tears, and thus its nature remains unknown. Whoever thinks this precious must must be troubled by severe na naivete. It's now a tear bridge. Blood gem that fortifies weapons and has various properties. Droplet gems are special gems to adapt to various weapons and shape. Created from a shining silver doll tear. This blood gem is a quiet but unflattering friend, unfaltering friend that continues to restore his HP and life essence of the hunter, perhaps the doll creator had wished for just a for just such a friend. Albeit in vain. Continuous HP recover plus two. Put this on later. Upgrade it some more. Now we can get continued HP regen, which is awesome. It's a great blood gem to always keep on. We have to go back to Cathedral and head to this area. Screw up in the beginning. We'd be actually making very good time this episode.
and see how far we can get. Now we're gonna go down this other way. We have a bunch of items here. Go here. Hopefully we can drop off here. Drop off here. Messenger top hat. I'm gonna follow this. Get man man's not all here. Slowly to this beast. He dropped the beast rune. secret symbol left by Carol Runesmith of Bergen where the transcription of the roar of a labyrinth beast, the bearer of beast rune has accentuated temporary transform transformation attacks. Beast is one of the early Carol runes as well as one of the first game forbidden. The discovery of blood entailed the discovery of undesirable beasts. The inhabitants of the stump appear to have an interest in adornment. Why not let them be happy as well without revel as apes? store. We have to proceed carefully through here. PC here. <laughs> Anaya curses. Anaya to remember. What you say, friend? <laughs> they are losing their minds. Yarn and hand sweaty clothes. We'll read the lore on that in a minute. After. We can get kidnapped by this guy. We want to, not yet. Way. 
chase you. Okay. Run. Run. I can't believe I did that. Oof. Okay. That was scary. One blood vial left. Now those jailers right there, I call them jailers, you can get kidnapped and get taken to an area very early, which we want to do. Not yet. This slimy alien right here. Pains in the butt. They're weak to thrust, though. Get the fire blood gemstone. Look at him. Look how he looks. Should be another indicator of what type of game this is. Very alien looking. Go back here. Gate that we can't couldn't open. Gold blood. Let's read real quick what we picked up. Well worn, damp with sweat. Dolls. Discarded doll clothing likely to be spared for dress up. A deep love for the doll can be surmised by the fine craftsmanship of this article. Air was kept at borderlines on mania. Exudes a slight warmth. how you take care of that. Now we're going to go back to the dream before I carry on. I'm going to end the episode here. I'm going to go farm some blood vials and we'll continue on in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.
please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one take care